All right. I had some requests on the Cub of Linux forum to do another video in the Linux Does What We Don't series. But as many of you know, I have completely and totally lost my mind, and I'm enjoying perpetual insanity. <laughs> With that being said, I've decided to switch it around a little bit. That's right. Today, Windows users, I am on your side. It is Windows does what Linux won't. And that begins right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Windows is always at the forefront of innovation. You knew that, didn't you? Oh, of course you did. Now pay very close attention because you will hear me say this probably more than once in today's video. Rule one, Microsoft knows best. They think you are naive and you need their guidance in everyday computing. It is not about what you want. It is about what they think is best for you. And if you do not like the way Microsoft does things, then you are a nonconformist, an extremist, and a social justice warrior for complaining against anything Microsoft has planned for you out of the goodness and kindness of their hearts. That brings us to the first item of interest. Windows does what Linux won't. Number one, forced upgrades. Darn it! How come Windows gets all the cool features? I installed Manjaro on my computer five years ago, and I must manually install upgrades myself. Never once did Manjaro tell me it was time to reboot. As a Windows user, you get to enjoy having your work interrupted by the computer shutting down without your permission and installing upgrades. Remember rule one, you are not safe unless your computer obeys Microsoft. Number two, forced installation of Windows Store apps. As a Windows customer, you are always provided with software suggestions to improve your user experience. Invigorating, isn't it? You will be offered programs and you do not have to do anything. It's already installed for you. And now you're wondering where all that space on that small SSD drive went. I'm sure there's a way to shut it off. But remember rule one, Microsoft knows best. Number three, forced advertising. No operating system is complete without an ad engine that tracks your every move and offers you custom advertising for stuff they think you can benefit from. Instead of burning your paycheck at the local bar on payday, just go home and turn on your computer. Windows offers you plenty of things you can waste your money on in the App Store. Number four. Application nags. Let's face it, you're not safe unless you use the programs Windows tells you to. This means you must sacrifice customization options and functionality to ensure you will come back to Edge. They may even drop in some code to prevent your Chrome or Firefox browser from working. <laughs> Remember rule one? We care about you, and you should never use software that we don't like. Like. <laughs> Number five, coercion. That's right. They sure love manipulating people. You are not safe if you use older versions of Windows. No, no, no. Microsoft is unable and unwilling to update Windows 7 or 8. So you must upgrade to Windows 10, even if your machine doesn't meet the minimum requirements. Try Windows 10 on a netbook. It'll only take 10 minutes to boot up a desktop, but at least you'll be safe. Number six, everybody loves her. Her name is Cortana. Microsoft's digital assistant is always there to help you and will tell Microsoft everything you do so they can assist you with more advertising suggestions and app store selections. Cortana never makes mistakes. This is software perfection at its finest. If you type something on the screen and Cortana does not display what you want, then you just simply need to change your way of thinking in order to get the best user experience. Remember, 
Microsoft knows best. Next is number seven, and this one happens to be one of my favorites, Upload Bandwidth. Sharing is caring, and every Windows user gets to experience this fabulous edition of peer-to-peer -peer uploading. In order to ensure everyone gets their upgrades, your computer will upload the upgrades that you just downloaded and installed to other computers on the Internet in contravention of your Internet service provider's policy of not running a server on a home network. Since data is cheap on all networks, don't worry about the additional fees. You're helping poor Microsoft. And remember... Microsoft is your friend. Next, we move on to number eight, vendor lock-in. Everybody loves this one. Some computers will get upgraded to a secure version of Windows. This simply means you cannot install any applications from anywhere unless you have a Microsoft account, and you can only install programs from the Windows Store. Wow, this is amazing! Now I'll never need to play my Steam games anymore because Microsoft knows best. You can upgrade to Pro for an additional fee, and then you can download and install all of the malware and viruses you want. Microsoft knows best, and you should never install any Thing unless it comes from the Windows Store. Number nine, forced lock-in screen. Oh, wonderful. I'm the only person in my household, and I'm the only one who uses this computer, but Microsoft knows best, and they added this feature to protect me from myself. Why hasn't Linux thought of this? We need to force everyone to type in their password every time they return from a bathroom break. And now it's time for number 10, and everybody loves this one, telemetry. Microsoft cannot ensure you have the best user experience unless your computer is constantly reporting your activity. When you turn off telemetry, your computer is still sending Microsoft information. The only way to truly disable all communications is to unplug your Ethernet cable and smash! the network interface to pieces. I would lend you my sledgehammer, but I'm still in the process of doing the same update on all of my Windows machines. And there you have it. 10 things Windows does what Linux won't. Because Linux distributions vary, some of these aforementioned items may be included in custom distributions. But in most cases, their presence is unlikely in the extreme that they are prevalent in Windows. Moreover, many of these features can be disabled in Windows at the risk of breaking your end-user licensing contract. Remember, kids, failure is not an option. It is bundled with Windows and cannot be removed. That is all I have for now. Until next time, peace out.